Hey everyone, I hope you're doing really well. I am here in Asheville, North Carolina today at the Moog Synthesizer Factory, and I am here with Jim DeBardi, who does media and artist relations for Moog Music, and he is gonna tell us a bit about the goings on here at the Moog Factory, and perhaps even give us a tour of how a Moog Synthesizer is built. <laughs> The company started in Trumansburg, New York. Bob Moog started up in the late 60s building modular synthesizers. Uh, the Mini Moog comes in in the early 70s. And then towards the late 70s, after basically selling the company, Bob moved down to Asheville. And then in the early 90s, he started building up instruments again under the name Big Briar. And in 2002, he was able to get the rights back to the Moog name. Sure. Uh, and in June of 2011, we moved into this new facility that we're in right now. We don't have any uh, offices anywhere else, no other warehouses, no other production facilities. Everything we do is right here in this building. This is the area where we build our Mini Moog Voyager synthesizers. The Voyager is the newest instrument and in, uh, evolution or line of synthesizers that started all the way back in the early 1970s when Bob Moog introduced the original Mini Moog. In the late 60s you have the modular synthesizers and they were these uh, incredibly expressive, you know, amazing sounding electronic instruments. They had this, this unique synthesized sound that no one had ever really heard before, but, you know, it wasn't necessarily in the grasp of, of everybody. They, you, you saw them a lot in big universities, bigger touring acts that could afford to have people to physically move these large machines for them. Uh, it's really an idea that we take for granted today because you can go out to, you know, any toy store or electronic store and, and spend $20 and get a, a little electronic battery operated uh, noise making keyboard. But prior to 1970, you know, that, that idea just didn't exist. It's pretty obvious that, that we have a, a serious commitment to a very specific style of manufacturing, which is to say that, uh, you know, we're, we're committed to the idea of old school American manufacturing, actually building the instruments locally you know, here in our factory. So all of the metal that we use comes out of St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, all of our wood comes from Sparta, Tennessee. Uh, and then our circuit boards, we get from a number of different places just because simply we have so many different applications across all of our instruments. The Mini Moog alone has 11 different circuit boards inside of it. Uh, so we get our boards from a number of different suppliers, uh, one of which is located right here in Asheville. It's actually five minutes north of Asheville uh, from our factory, a company called Appalachian Technology. And they build the analog board that is used in the Mini Moog. And that's actually you know, the heart and soul uh, of the instrument because that's the board that is tasked with all of the sound uh, creation and signal path for this analog synthesizer. So this is one of our burn-in racks. Every instrument in the Moog factory goes through a 48-hour uh, burn-in process. And at this point, what we're doing is we're plugging the instrument in and we're turning it on and we're leaving it on for 48 hours because inside of this instrument, there's a circuit board with thousands and thousands of individual discrete electronic analog components. Uh, resistors, capacitors, LED lights, all of these different parts. What we're doing is we're checking to ensure that each one of them is robust. If a resistor's gonna pop, if an LED light's gonna burn out, it'll happen in the first 48 hours of use, and uh, in this case, it'll happen here in our factory where we can address the issue, as sure. opposed to being you know, two months into someone's studio. So this is our calibration room. Uh, after a mini moke has went through its initial mechanical construction, and then a 48 hour burning process, uh, we still need to tune it up. So he's using the oscilloscope to get a visual representation of voltage, and in this case, sound as well. The multimeter is gonna give him a numerical representation of the voltage. The computer screen is actually showing him all of the MIDI information that's coming into the synthesizer, as well as everything that's being transmitted out of it. And on a mini Moog, there are 30 different calibration points. Each one of them needs to be adjusted accurately down to the millivolt. And once all of that's done, Technically, it should be perfect. We also realize that even though we're making electronics, uh, we're not making televisions and we're not making toasters, we're making musical instruments. And this is a piece that someone, you know, the user is going to have a very personal relationship with. Just by the nature of an analog synthesizer, it's a very tactile experience. You're always touching it, you're always interacting with it. This is an instrument that, that artists use to create and to, and to realize ideas that they have. 
Well, Jim, thank you so much. This was totally awesome. I think that it's really, it's kind of eye-opening being here in the factory because not everybody realizes when they actually touch or use a synthesizer mm -hmm. how many hands it's actually gone through and just overall love and care and attention has been given to that one single instrument. Yeah, so thank you guys for coming. Um, you know, we're extremely proud of the work that we do here. We think that the, the, As you the should be. instruments that we make and the way that we make them are uh, very unique and very special, and any time that we get an opportunity to show people what it is that we do inside the factory, we, we love to take advantage of that. Thank you once again. All right, thank you. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.